welcome to my channel! Today I'd like to show you my Lolita fashion wardrobe! Uh, this will only be the main pieces uh, because it will be too long if I did everything in just one video but if you guys want uh, just say it in the comments and I'll show you everything else I have. <laughs> I've been into Lolita fashion since 2009, so it's been a long while. So my wardrobe is mainly organized by color and also I put the JSKs and OPs on this side and the skirts on this side. And also I mainly buy NJ Pretty, uh, but I also have other brands. So the first one is an OP by NJ Pretty. It's Airy Girl Kutsu. It has nice pearl details on the neckline and the sleeves. Also the bodice material is stretchy, so it's comfy. And it's really a perfect dress for casual wear. Next up is Dreamy Horoscope GSK by NJ Pretty. So this is one of the famous sag dresses that AP sells. Uh, it's really comfy because it's flowy, but if you have a bigger bust like me, it looks a bit silly, so I wear a binder with it. Next up is one of my favorite prints, Cherry Berry Bunny. My NJ Pretty. This dress is really special to me because one of my best friends gifted it to me. I had this dress before in another cut but it didn't fit me and I had to sell it. So when my friend saw this she really wanted to gift the other cut to me. This one uh, is from a Taobao brand. Uh, which is named Wheat House. The dress didn't really have a name, uh, it was simply named Cat GSK. The fabric is kind of thick. It also has a nice cat applique that is made of faux fur, and there's also pearl details with velvet ribbons. The color theme is really nice for Christmas, I think. So, this one is by a Mexican brand that I don't think they exist anymore but they were called Sweet Addiction and this is their Ladybug GSK. I really like the simplicity of this dress. It's made of chiffon and it has velvet details. My only issue with it is that when I washed it, the lining came undone so I had to sew it back. But the fit is really nice so I'm going to keep it for now. So next up is this JSK by Metamorphose. It's called the Lovely Forest Full Fur Color GSK. The main reason I got this dress is because of the gorgeous uh, faux fur color with the deer print. But upon looking at it closer, there are many little details that are really nice. There's also ruffles at the back, so it's a pretty nice touch. This one is from a Taobao brand called Cheese Cocoa. The dress's name is Chocolate Love Song. It's a pretty simple dress with lightweight fabric, but I really like the simple look of it and the print is really cute with the chocolate and music notes. Uh, it's a bit longer than other JSKs, so it's a good dress for taller people. Next up is Little Bear's Cafe by NJ Pretty. I've had this dress for quite some time now and it's one of my favorites to wear. It's really comfy because there's a lot of sharing at the back and the fabric is really thick, some kind of faux linen. I also really like the pom-poms at the bottom and it came with a nice donut shaped pin. Next one is one of my dream dresses. It's Milky Chan, the Fawn, GSK by Angie Pretty. 
This is the ribbon version of the GSK. Mirki-chan is my favorite mascot from NJ Pretty, so it's only natural that this dress will be one of my favorites. So next one is one of my favorite dresses ever and the first brand piece I was able to buy uh, many years ago I'd say. <laughs> this is the polka dot Milky Chan Applique GSK by Angie Pretty. When I began my Lolita fashion journey, I saw this one for sale with the matching elbow and I really fell in love with it. It was super pink with the Milky Chan applique at the bottom and the, the pearl necklace, so I just couldn't pass it up. Next up is one of my most recent pieces. It's from the Taobao brand CC Cat and it's their Dollhouse GSK. I like how colorful this dress is and also the little details like the two tones of lace and also the art shape buttons. There was a matching apron that you could buy with it but I didn't get it the first time around so I ordered it now with the third batch I think so I'm really excited to wear them together. Next up is one of my favorite prints by NJ Pretty, but it's a collaboration with Disney and it's their Kiss Me Cat Mary Opie. So I knew from the start that this dress wouldn't fit me because the shoulders are too small, but I bought it for really cheap in the hopes of making a JSK or a skirt out of it. Mary is one of my favorite Disney characters, so I just couldn't say no to this dress. So next one is Summer Aquarium by Dear Celine. I got this dress in the mail last week, so it's really new. I really like the print, but I would have preferred to get it in sacks or navy, but they were both sold out in my size, so I had to settle for the pink. The fabric is really lightweight and it feels like a perfect dress for summer. Next up is Red Panda Picnic by Doll Paradise. Red Panda is my favorite animal, so I was very excited to see that a brand has decided to make a dress with red pandas on it. I love the picnic team it has, with the waffles and strawberries on it. The headbow that comes with it has a strawberry and flower plushie on it. It's super cute. Next one is a Jessica uh, by a brand named Cream Orange Cat. From Taobao. The name of the JSK appears to be Lilizo, but I'm not sure because it's a translation. It's one of my most affordable dresses, so I was expecting it to be bad, but when I got it, the quality of the fabric is really nice and the fit is just perfect. Next is Lovely Snow Fantasy by NJ Pretty. As you may have noticed, I really love fur colors. So when I saw this dress, I just couldn't pass it up. Strangely, for a winter team dress, it's made of very light chiffon, but it's comfortable. Next is Sakura Rabbit GSK by Dear Celine. This dress is pretty simple, but I simply fell in love with the cute rabbits on it. I really love rabbits, if you couldn't tell already, but these are just the cutest ever. The dress is pretty lightweight, so it's good to wear in summer. It also came with detachable bows that were some kind of dusty pink, but I thought they don't match quite right with it, so I removed them for now. Next one 
next is the Selena GSK by NG Pretty. I usually prefer printed dresses from NG Pretty, but when I saw this one, I just fell in love with its simplicity and the little stripes, the details, the lace. I don't know, I, I just really love it. And I think I'm gonna get it in other colors too. I feel it's a really underrated dress. Next is... A GSK from a brand called Yup Bro. <laughs> the name of the OP is Slightly Sweet Sea Salt. I'm unsure if it's an accurate name because it's a translation. What I like the most about this dress is the fabric choice. It's shiny but it's a good quality fabric. And also it's one of the rare OPs that fit me because the shoulders are a nice size. Next is one of my dream dresses. Uh, you'll notice that I don't have anything gothic, but I do have this one piece uh, that is Nameless Poem by Ista Mori on uh, Taobao. I've had this dress in my wish list for five years and I was finally able to get it this year because the brand did a re-release. I just love the overall look of it. The details are well made and also the fit is just perfect. So the next one is a really special JSK uh, by a brand named Sakia Lolita. Uh, it's their Wisteria Cat JSK. Uh, you also notice I have the blouse with it. I always hang them together because I wouldn't see myself wearing them separately. I think this dress is the most detailed dress I've ever owned. Uh, I was pretty surprised because it wasn't that expensive. It was less than a brand dress and the quality is even better. The fabric is really good quality. It's printed and it has glitters in it. Uh, the embroidery is impeccable and also the craftsmanship is perfect. Honestly, I'm really happy with this dress. It's a dress for special occasions more than casual wear, but I'm super happy with it and I cannot wait to have a photo shoot with it. So next up are my skirts. So the first one is Otome Nostalgia by Violet Faye. The print on it is really unique and I feel it was a really nice idea. And the skirt came with a belt which has a heart buckle. Overall I'm really happy with it and it's super comfy. Next up is Letter Doll Skirt by NG Pretty. I really like this skirt because it's easy to wear for casual outfits and also it's one of their rare AP skirts that fit me because it's fully elastic. Next is Typewriting Squirrel by Metamorphose. I was seeing this skirt being sold everywhere all the time and it was really really cheap so I thought why not and in the end I'm really happy with it and since it's fully elastic it's pretty comfy. Next is Teddy Bear Baker from Metamorphose. I believe this skirt was part of a lucky pack, I just don't remember the year. When I saw the little bears on it and the rabbits, I just couldn't pass it up. And once again, since it's fully elastic, it's super comfy and ideal for casual wear. Next is Dramatic Rose by NG Pretty. I just love the Dramatic Rose print series. Sadly, this one doesn't fit me yet, so I cannot talk about the fit, but I'm really in love with the print and just the overall look. Next up is a 
stirred by Alice and the Pirates. It's called I Don't Seek with Missing Alice. It's a pretty old skirt, I believe. So I was really surprised that it was fully elastic. I didn't really expect to own any Alice and the Pirates, but I'm really happy to have this one. And the last one is The March of the Duck by Metamorphose. It's the first skirt I ever bought and I'm really in love with the little ducks at the bottom. The print is a bit busy, as many of Metamorphose prints are, but I really don't mind it and I think it will be perfect for Easter. And now the dress I'm wearing! It's called Bichon Cirque by Baby the Stars Shine Bright. It's the number 2 GSK and it's really nice to see a print with dogs instead of cats. Usually uh, brands use cats. I thought the little puppies uh, and the circus teams are really cute together. So that's it for my Lolita wardrobe tour for 2021. I hope you enjoyed and like I said it's only the main pieces but if you want to see more please comment down below and let me know. Uh, also don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to be posting more videos soon. Bye bye!